Hello and welcome to this short demonstration of the horse rig from the Autorig Pro rig library blender add-on. This rig is part of a library of 24 animal rigs which can be bought at Blender Market. It's important to note that the Autorig Pro rig library is specifically built for the Autorig Pro rigging system, so you need to have bought that add-on for the rig library to work. Each of the 24 rigs comes with a locomotion animation, and in the case of this horse, it comes with this gallop or uh, running animation. And let me show you that from multiple angles so you can get a better idea. Uh, and yeah, I've created this animation on 30 FPS and not on 24 because with the whole creation of the rig uh, and this animation, I kept game engine compatibility in mind. So uh, yeah, that's why I did that. Cool, let's get back to the main features of the rig. And first of all, the purpose of this rig is to act as a template rig to uh, rig your own 3D models. So you, if you have any type of uh, creature model which has a similar anatomy to that of a horse, you can uh, then use this rig to rig that model. Okay, uh, next to that, this, the rig comes uh, with a this block mesh and uh, the purpose of the block mesh is to act as a visual guide to get a, an idea of where to place the bones of this rig within your own 3D model. Uh, so, But if you have no use for it, you can simply delete it and it uh, will not do any harm. Um, it's just a visual tool to, again, help you place the bones of this rig in your own model. Okay, let's uh, turn the rig back on. Um, and as you might have noticed, uh, Autorig Pro by default also comes with a with a horse rig um, uh, or preset actually. Um, but um, to me, it it wasn't completely uh, uh, following the realistic anatomy of a, of a horse. Mainly in the leg setup, I was uh, missing some some uh, s some uh, some realism. So that's why I chose to uh, create my own. Uh, horse uh, rig for other rig pro um, just so you know okay um, some of the other features uh, or controls of the rig are this position controller which lets you position the rig within your scene uh, we have this trajectory controller which lets you animate a trajectory for the horse we have this root uh, a root mass controller which controls both the upper and lower body of the horse we have this root controller which only controls the lower body so you can use that to animate a hip sway for example we have a tail mass controller which lets you animate all the tail bones at once uh, we have a spine mass controller which lets you animate all the spine bones at once same with the neck mass controller you can control all the neck bones at once and then we have this uh, head controller if i turn on the tool tab you can see it comes with this headlock and let me showcase what that does so um, if i take the the neck controller and i move it around you can see that the head follows the orientation of the of the neck controller but uh, when i toggle the headlock and i do the same thing again i take the neck controller and I moved around you can see that the orientation of the head keeps facing forward so um, yeah that's what the headlock does okay on to the the legs the legs come by default they are in uh, uh, IK mode um, but you can easily switch to FK now the legs in FK Let's switch back to IK and let's turn on this auto stretch feature. Okay, and when I move the leg beyond its limit, you can see that the leg stretches. So uh, that gives for some nice cartoony animation. So that's what auto stretch does. Then we have a tie twist, uh, um, yeah, to correct any deformation in that section of the leg. Um, then we have knee pinning. So here we have the knee. And when I move it around, you can see that the knee follows. But when I turn on knee pinning and I move the leg, you can see that the knee stays put. So let's turn that back off again. Um, something else uh, which is specific to this horse rig, when I turn on 
X-ray, you can see there's this custom clavicle bone. It controls the clavicle, as you can see. Um, but it's uh, something that I was uh, uh, missing from Autoric Pro uh, for a specific leg setup for a horse. Uh, I needed an, ad an additional bone, but Autoric Pro wouldn't give me that, uh, uh, doesn't offer that option as of uh, right now. So uh, uh, I, I, uh, I've added this additional uh, clavicle bones to complete a realistic leg setup for a horse. So yeah, that's, that's why that custom bone is there. And then finally some foot uh, setup. So here we have a foot controller that you can use to animate the ankle. And here we have a foot roll. When I move it up and down, you can see you can animate a foot roll. And when I move it sideways, you can animate some banking motion. So that's nice. Um, yeah. I think uh, I've covered the main features of this uh, horse rig from the other rig pro rig library. But if you have any more questions, pl please feel free to contact me on blender market. I'm always happy to help, but uh, yeah, thank you for watching.